Hello, I just finished filming a podcast with uh, Jeff Morrow about um, at least one near-death experience I had, but probably two. And um, there's something I just realized I wish I would have said. And um, But before I say that, I want to say thank you for those of you who watched that one. And, um, and thank you for watching this. So regarding... Um, you know, when people, I don't think people need an NDE in order to be intuitive. I don't think people need a near-death experience in order to be guided. And yet, there is something beneficial to those experiences, but I don't go seek them out. <laughs> Instead, there's so many things you can do, and I talk a lot about them on the on the podcast about things you can do to get yourself in connection with your spirit so that when you um, are ready, you can start to be, become more intuitive, more psychic, more perceptive, more guided. It's really fun. But I also want to talk about how when you have that, um, when you have that connection with what I call your spirit, when you have it, you, Life is so much better. Not only did I heal my body, which I talk about in his podcast, but every single area of life improves so much. And it's just amazing how much lighter life is, how much easier life is. It's just, it becomes so effortless. And that's that's something I teach my clients, but it's also in all three of my books. I mentioned my, my podcast, my book podcast, or my bot, I mentioned my books and the link to it. I also have a podcast of the same name. So the books are chronicpleasurebook.com. There's three books on there right now. I'm writing my fourth book about how to look and stay younger naturally. And um, that's really fun. So I'm just wanting you to know that you don't need to have an NDE to have an exalted experience throughout life. And when you get more and more connected with your spirit, it is the most beautiful thing. And all sorts of ideas that used to hurt you start to just fall away. And you become much more free. Um, I wanted to share one more thing with you that I had wanted to share with Chris. Oh, just the fact that when you, when you are attuned to your spirit, you become more capable of being a channel for people who are who are gone for example my dad he died um 20 30 25 years ago and when he died you know I, we had one relationship in his human life but at a certain point I was home one night and I had been writing out appreciation and I went to go to bed and I'd been writing for two hours I felt my dad so clearly it was like you could it was so palpable so dense you could cut it with a knife and I just felt like for the first time that I understood it that he loved me unconditionally that he was proud of me he was proud of my mom my brother my nieces and nephews like he was just so loving and my dad and Johnny who was a boyfriend when I was in my 20s uh, for five years, Johnny also came to me. Johnny had killed himself. And I had thought that when people kill themselves, that they are going to be in hell or suffer in some way. And Johnny said, no, that's not the truth. Now, I'm not saying you should kill yourself. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> but what happened was I was really suicidal. I had just gotten divorced, and I was in my bedroom, and I'd already experienced my dad coming to me. And then, oh, actually, I no, Johnny came to me first. And Johnny, I didn't know it was him at first, but I just started to feel, you know, kind of good. And I heard somebody say, you're <laughs> gorgeous. It starts with an F. And um, <laughs> gorgeous. And I was like, who's saying that? And I could literally hear it. And then I heard Johnny had written a song for me that Belinda Carlisle sang called I Feel the Magic. <laughs> It's kind of a corny song, but there's a. I would hear just this one part, which is, I feel the magic like I never felt before. I imagine that it always been there. I'm not a singer. Um, Angel, baby, give me more and more. And mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I hear that little bit. I feel the magic like I never felt before. I imagine it's always been there. I kept hearing him sing it. And then I realized, oh my God, this must be Johnny. And then a little bit after that, I connected with my dad. And Johnny and my dad started giving me an understanding of things. Like, for example, I said to Johnny, you know, didn't you go to hell? You killed yourself. And he said, oh, no, 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 but there is no hell. I said, there's no hell. What about all those religions that say there's a hell and all that stuff? And Johnny said, Johnny said, um, crowd control. And I said, Dad, is that right? And to Dad, my dad was like, mm hmm, crowd control. And I was just, I started to get uh, my humor back. Even though I was so depressed, I started to get my humor because my dad was really funny, Johnny was really funny, and they were even funnier coming from the energetic level. So that's one of the things I wanted to say, that there is no hell, and that if you just start to get into more connection with your spirit, you'll have access to all sorts of understanding and clarity and knowing. I got so much clarity from those two, and they really helped me shift myself from sickness into health. Most of the practices that I've gotten, that I've used with myself and my clients, a huge portion of them came from Johnny and my dad and my spirit. And I just kept downloading and downloading, and I still download. So thank you so much. I, I hope you watch the Jeff Morrow one. It comes out um, today is the 24th, so it comes out April 25th, um, 2023. So if you haven't seen it, it, it um, I don't know when you're watching this, but it's there. And it's also going to be in my interviews um, on my uh, YouTube channel. So it'll be in my interviews, so you can see it there. And, uh, yeah, it was really fun. He's a really sweet and smart man. And I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching this. Thanks for watching that if you feel inspired. Um, I appreciate you so much. Have a beautiful rest of your day.